Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. For our new viewers, you're welcome to this great family. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. This is the design you need to be learning in this video. And the material you'll be needing are this. So, so I will be making use of the shiny crab, shiny crab in this video. You can make use of your shiny crab, your crab, your body con, your lycra, your scuba, your all sick, any fabric of your choice. So just like um any zara card not to make your own. You'll be needing your marco. So I have this marco here. I have my sequence as well. I have small piece of sequence and the shiny crab. So let's start. Now the first piece I'll be needing is this. I have 25, 24 inches the length from here to this part, 24 inches by 14 inches. The width is 14 inches, while the length is 24 inches. So please make sure you use the stretchy part of your fabric. This place I cut as is not stretchy because of my material was not enough. So, but it's still a little bit stretchy. So 24 inches by 14 inches. That's the first um, piece I'm going to use. The second one is the sequence. So I cut out my sequence. I have 6 inches by 24, 24 inches. The width is 6 inches. Don't mind this place. If you are... Just make sure your own sequence cover everything. I cut this part together with it because by the time I fold it in, I sew, it won't... It won't be obvious outside. That's why I just cut it. I don't want it to waste. So, 24 inches by 6 inches. And the last piece, which is going to be the design that will be at the back, I have 10 inches weight by 15 inches length. You can make your hole. You can increase, your, increase the length of your hole. This is what you are going to be using to form the rows at the back. 10 inches by 15 inches length. I'm still using the same fabric. These two the same, it's only the sequence that is different. Now I'm going to get the center of this marker and the center of this fabric. Get the center of this marker, maybe just indicate, indi indicate it. It's not like not shit very well, just small indication. So like something like that. So and in the center of this 24 inches by 14 inches. So I've already gotten the center. Now here is the center. So I'll place the center of this in alignment with the center of the fabric. Then I'll fold it to cover the marco. So when it's cover, this is the wrong side of the fabric. So when I use it to cover it, I'll fold it in. Fold the edge in like this. I'll fold it in away from the marco. You can see. So I'll fold it in and so. I will sew close to the marco so that the marco can be in place. You will sew, I will sew it straight. I will just sew it straight from one end to the other. So let me go ahead to do that now. Okay, now I have sewn it just the way I described. What we're going to be doing now is to this is the right part. We don't want it on top like this. Once we bring this sewing part to the back at the middle here. So what we're going to be doing, what you're going to be doing is just to adjust it. Adjust it. Adjust the marker inside. And it has a way that the sewing part will be pulling to the will be going to the back. You can see. You can see very easy. It's very easy to do. It's very easy to do. Alright now. So we have it at the back and it's so neat. So for the sequence, we're going to take the sequence like this. Fold it into two and you sew straight. Fold it into two and you sew straight. For the those that will be at the back as well, fold it to the wrong side and sew it straight at the edge. Fold it at the edge. The same thing applies to this sequence. You sew it at the edge. Our new viewers, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. And to our old subscribers, thank you so much for your love and everything. <laughs> now, after sewing, just turn it out. Turn it out and bring the sewing part to the middle. So, this way you are sewing, make sure you take your time to sew it very well. Don't draw your fabric. You know, it's a stretchy fabric. 
and if you draw it, the shape is going to be affected. So don't draw it. So this is the same part. I'm going to rest it up on the on the on the marker, just like this. So I'll use my office pin to hold it here and hold it here. So I will not turn it to the wrong side now. Turn it to the wrong side. Before I turn it to the wrong side, I will I will first turn it to the first to the right side so that you know maybe the sequence is firm on it. Okay, I think that is okay. I think that is okay. Now I turn to the wrong side. So you take your measurement. The head circumference for adults is 20. So divided by divided by two inches, we have 11 and a half. But I will make this one to be 11 inches. I will make it 11 inches. So here is it. I'm just going to mark the 11 inches and so. So when I'm sewing, I will sew like this. I will take like two inches from here, or let me say one and a half inches. And I will cut it just like you sew your top band. Then sew like this. So after sewing, I weave the edge to have a neat job. After sewing, do the weaving just like I said. Um, now don't be your thread inside your needle and do a running stitch after the band. Just a running stitch till the hang there and draw it together. Many of you have been watching videos on this channel, your voice. You are here to subscribe, you are here to like videos, you are here to comment just once. Do it once, eh? Please. And also go through this channel. You'll see different videos we have uploaded for a long time that can be helpful for you. Make sure you go through the videos and see. Now, after you are done with your running stitch, turn it out to the wrong side and ring the sequence like this. So you can use your hot glue to, to, to attach it to the turban and you can leave it like that depending on the client you are doing it for or depending on your choice. So now what's next is to put our most so initially I did a mistake, I sew on the wrong side. Please don't sew on the wrong side, sew at the right side. And that's all, you just leave it like that. In this video, I later leave it like that. I just pass my thread through, just like I'm doing right now. I double my thread inside my needle and pass it through to do the rolling stitch at one end, starting from one end till the, to the other end. So after you have done with that, you just draw everything together to form your rows. It's very simple to do. Now after you have done the running stitch, you just try to secure it here so that it won't be moving back again. So after you are done with that, you want to form the rows with this, you just you will turn it. You will turn it, you will continue to turn it to form whatever you want it to form. You can make it big and you can make it small. But I think that is okay for me. I don't want it too big. Now go ahead to secure it down. Pick it and come out from the back. So after you have well secured it, pick it and tack it to the back of your Zara car. Just like this. I will go off the camera to do that. Just to make sure you do it neatly. We are done with it, so this is it. So for this sequence part, you can leave it like this, and you can use your hot glue 
to glue it. You can glue it at the top part here and at the down part here. So you can do it like that. And you can decide to place anything at the back of your Zara cap. It all depends on what you want. And at the center here, if it is not neat, place a stone or a flower there. And that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Just make sure you subscribe before you leave.